been a minute. <laughs> Not only are you aware of the audacity, I myself am accountable. So I too am aware of the audacity. <laughs> Hey guys, it's me, Keisha V. I'm back with another video. Audacity! <laughs> Not on my watch! I want to apologize in advance. Well, you know what? Here, I'm gonna allow myself some leniency, even though that might not be granted. So, I'm requesting to come to the front of the congregation and talk about where I've been. So, for those of you that don't know, I am Keisha B. My channel used to be called Grits and Threads. Uh, there was a lot of revamping that has been going on within months hence this new location my last videos were in my other location which i'm no longer there because i was blessed to be able to purchase a home in the midst of a panorama <laughs> as everybody would call it it's not a laughing matter however you know a lot of us have to laugh to keep from crying now first let me say happy belated new year I hope that everybody is well. I hope that everybody is healthy. Things have been crazy to say the least. I just want you guys to know that everything happens for a reason. And that may sound like a crock of shit right now, but I can tell you from experience that when you think that it is failure, it's actually fate. I myself have been doing pretty good pretty good so I just wanted to start this video again by saying I apologize for my absence uh, I had a lot going on rightfully so so I had to kind of take a step back and reassess and to be honest with you I just wasn't in the space to film I was in a funk at one point in time I was tired I was exhausted I was confused I was angry I was sad I went through a lot of emotions um, to get to where I am right now, which is, I can say, a space of joy. And I'm just so grateful that I stayed the course. I'm grateful that God chose me to go through a number of things. You know, essentially, a lot of constructs had to be torn down in order to build me back up and for me to start a new journey. So I'm very grateful for that. So as I stated, as you can see, I'm in a new location. I used to do a series on my channel called Mask Communication. I'm actually gonna get back to that. And one of the last videos that I did, uh, well, first let me explain. And excuse my voice, it's early in the morning. I was trying to catch the sun, so I'm recording in my kitchen, but the way my blinds are set up, it, there would have been like a terrible glare. So, and I'm trying to, while it's not noisy, um, I digress. Mass communications being a play on words, mass communication. So, you know, of course, sending out um, information or bulletin to a bunch of people. But in my segment, I would pick or choose a mask, a face mask that I was using at the time or trying out. And then I would just communicate um, to you guys what was going on at the time or, you know, talk about different things. One of the last videos was me talking about being evicted. I was living in my home state and I was going through a terrible situation. It was so banshee. I don't want to get into it because I don't want to bring that energy into it. But let me just say this. It was necessary. It was a retaliatory eviction. On the surface where I thought I was going to be victorious and staying, I was actually evicted and I had to leave. Yes, I did come out victorious because everything that happened after that, to be honest with you, got worse. But it had to get worse for it to get better. I left my home state. I moved to another state. When I first got here, it was pretty challenging. But it was, it, I think it was set up that way so I could get the information that I needed. Get the strength that I needed. Get the, um, you know, I don't really know how to say it. It was, it was all necessary if it makes sense. In hindsight, I can say that at the time when I was going through everything, it was rough. I didn't know what was gonna happen. I didn't know if I would truthfully be around because that's how bad it was. God gave me the strength to endure. And I just wanna say, it's not always wise to walk around with your strong face on. You know, it's sometimes better to allow people to see your weaknesses so they can help you. Anyway, I just wanna say that I'm in a much better place. I'm 
I'm happy for the first time in years, in years. To be honest with you, I can't recall a time where I was happy. So if this is what happiness is, then I absolutely love it here. Things are so much better and I realize that it, it probably took all of that, not probably, it definitely took for all that to occur for me to get to the place that I am in now. So I'm extremely grateful. So let me just catch you guys up. Um, I'm still gonna be cooking on my channel. Since I've moved, I've incorporated interior design and decor uh, to my channel. I don't have any videos yet, but I will have videos. I'm going to give you guys an empty house tour. So I'm in the process of painting doing floors, um, replacing a lot of stuff just to make this space my own. I have to go on record saying this is my dream home. I got everything I wanted in this home. And when I tell you, I still wake up in disbelief. I have an immeasurable amount of gratitude because I look at, again, everything that I've gone through just to get here. So I will be doing an empty house tour. I will be showing you guys how I decorate and style my home. I will be doing videos on uh, particular renovations of rooms. My backyard, it needs to be renovated. My front yard needs to be landscaped. So I'll have a, a number of videos that I'll be coming to you guys with. Also, I cut my hair. I cut my hair myself. Last year, in the midst of crisis I went in my bathroom and I took some shears to my hair and I cut it off I was over it I could not endure the responsibility that I had and try to maintain my hair and let me just also say at one point in time I felt like my hair made me look better I know that sounds kind of asinine, but it's the truth. I felt like my hair just added to my looks. And then I got to a point where I'm just like, no, no. Because as you grow spiritually and you realize that surface things um, don't make you who you are. Internally, when you shine and you are a good person, and you have a great attitude and the energy of benevolence exudes, that's what makes you pretty or look nice or beautiful or whatever you want to call it. I absolutely love my haircut. And the reason that I decided to cut my own hair is because I don't want to pay nobody to possibly mess it up. So what I did was I cut off just enough to where I could see, of course, it being shorter than it was, but I left it long enough. That way, if I messed it up, I could put some braids or my locks back in. So, so far, so good. I've kept it up. Um, it's been like this since, I think, November or October of last year. Not sure. Another thing I wanted to mention, I'll be right back. So, I also, have a shea butter business. Um, this is not a new endeavor. I've made shea butter for years, but I have started the process of actually marketing my shea butter. I just will make it for friends and family and the people that knew that I made it. I also have an Etsy, so I will link that information down in the description bar where you can purchase. So that's another thing that I have going on. But I will be back on this channel to cook with full recipes. Ingredients, I'm still a little sketch at. It's hard for me to come up with precise ingredients. A lot of the times, these recipes that I think of are on the fly. And I season to taste, as I always suggest that people do, because everybody has a different palate. If I tell you to put in a tablespoon of kosher salt, that might be too much for someone. You know what I mean? If I tell you to put in a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, that might be too much for someone or not enough for others like myself. Speaking of cayenne pepper, I enjoy spicy food, 
very spicy food so what i can handle somebody else may not be able to handle so i'm always going to tell you to um, season to taste but i will try my best to come up with approximates when it comes to the seasonings and things of that nature so i'm definitely coming back to cook i apologize for the purposeful delay and we're going to talk about that too a delay is not a no certain things have to occur or to be put in place in order for you to get to that place that it is you desire or whatever it is that you want to manifest behind the scenes the dots have to connect i'm not going to ramble on about that i'm just going to say that if you can get to a place of trusting the process and i know people say that a lot that's not an easy thing to do. It's not an easy thing to do. But I can tell you that practice makes progress. But anyway, I did again just want to come to you guys and give you this update if you um, if you would so receive it. <laughs> I know you like get your ass out of here. We ain't got time for you and your playing around. I have gotten the messages. Where are the videos? I am back for good i am are two of the most powerful words you can put before anything so i am back with videos i am going to be consistent i will have new content i'll be covering a couple of things so my channel you can say as most uh i guess youtubers i don't really consider myself a youtuber i make videos because i i enjoy making videos and i want to share the information that i have and i want to share with you a few of the things that I've gone through. I want to be able to encourage someone with letting you know that everything's going to be all right. More than all right. Better than what you could expect, actually. Thank you guys for tuning in to this update. I hope that you will come back for more videos. I promise I'm going to come back. Check me out on uh, Instagram. I'm at Keisha B. Cooks. That is the Instagram that I will be posting to with everything that's related to the content on this channel again lifestyle decor interior design for my new home cooking and so on and so forth again i hope you guys will come back for the next video until then please be well please be well please be well and i will see you again soon bye